What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we have Kerry Collins through the years. Now he was drafted back in 1995 from Penn State, pick number 5 in the 1995 NFL Draft by those Carolina Panthers. Now when we look at his attributes in Madden 97, he has 45 agility, 44 acceleration, 45 speed, also has 78 awareness, 62 carry, 94 throw power, and a 64 throw accuracy rating. During the 1996 NFL season, he made it to the Pro Bowl. He was 9-3 as a starter, completed 56% of his passes for 2,454 yards, 14 TDs, 9 interceptions, and he averaged 188.8 yards per game. In game day 97, 76 overall, 65 speed, and 88 arm. One of his best games was versus St. Louis. He was 11 of, of 18, had 196 yards on the day, 3 TDs, 1 pick, and then in a win versus 49ers, 22 of 37 for 327 yards and 3 TDs. Moving on to my favorite Madden, when I was a kid, obviously. Madden 98, Kerry Collins is 161 overall, 59 agility, 47 speed, 93 awareness, 59 carry, 76 for his throw power, 81 throw accuracy, and a break tackle the highest overall player was Jay Rice at 189 overall when we look at his numbers he went six and seven as a starter completed 52.5% of his passing for 2,124 yards 11 TDs and led the league with 21 interceptions one of his best games was versus those Dallas Cowboys 16 of 28 136 yards plus two TDs Madden 99 63 overall 57 strength 59 agility 55 speed 53 acceleration 54 awareness 49 carry 75 throw power and a 58 throw accuracy rating he went two and nine as a starter he played for two teams didn't win a game for the panthers but did win two games for those saints he completed 48.2 percent of his passing for 2213 yards 12 tds 15 interceptions his best game his last game was his best game with the panthers he had 20 completions on 38 attempts for a grand total of 302 yards, 3 TDs, and 2 interceptions. Madden 2000 as a giant, 65 overall, 64 strength, 54 agility, 48 speed, 51 acceleration, 69 awareness, 48 carry, 88 throw power, and 59 throw accuracy. Now for the Giants, Kerry Collins went 2-5 as a starter, completed 57.4% of his passing for 2,318 yards, 8 TDs, 11 interceptions, and he averaged 231 yards per game. Best game was versus the Jets. They won the game. He was 17-29, 341 yards, 3 TDs. Madden 2001, 84 overall, 58 speed, 60 strength, 73 awareness, 57 agility, 52 acceleration, 42 break tackle, 94 throw power, and a 79 throw accuracy rating. He went 12-4 and four for the Giants as their starter, completed 58.8% of the passes for 3,610 yards. He had 22 TDs, 13 interceptions, and 3 game-winning drives. One of his best games was Cleveland. He was 19 of 31. They got the win. He threw for 257 yards plus three TDs. Had another solid day versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was 24 of 35 for 333 yards and two TDs. Madden 2002, 81 overall for Big Carry. 49 speed, 60 strength, 83 awareness, 55 agility, 52 acceleration, 42 break tackle, 90 throw power, and an 84 throw accuracy rating. He will go 7-9 and nine as the starter. He will complete 57.6% of his passes for 19 TDs, 16 interceptions, 3,764 passing yards, also had four game-winning drives. Best game was versus the Seattle Seahawks. 30 of 47, 338 yards, 1 TD, plus they got the W. And he also had a pretty good game versus Denver. They lost that game, but he had 3 TDs and threw for 258 yards. Now for NFL 2K2, as you can see, he is 82 overall. Just one above what it was in Madden. And he also averaged a grand total of 235 yards passing for this season. But now, let's move on to Madden 2003, and in Madden 2003, Kerry Collins is 77 overall, 42 speed, 65 strength, 79 for his carry, 41 agility, 40 acceleration, 49 break tackle, 90 throw power, and an 85 throw accuracy rating. He will go 10 and 6 as a starter for the Giants, completing 61.5% of his passes for 4,000. 73 yards, 19 TDs, 14 interceptions, averaged 254 yards per game, and he also had five game-winning drives, and that led the league. So 
big ups to Kerry Colony. He could never count the Giants out when he was behind the center, right? I mean, right? I mean, or under center. But y'all know what I mean. NFL 2K3, 82 overall, 62 speed, 65 vision, 70 awareness, 22 break tackle, 45 for his scramble, 71 for that read coverage, 73 for that throw accuracy, and the 84 throw power. When it comes to his best games, he had one versus Dallas, 18 of 27. They got the W. He threw for 228 yards and he threw for three TDs and just one interception. Then versus Indianapolis, he went 23 of 29 for 366 yards, four TDs, and they got that W. Madden 04, 87 overall for Kerry, 44 speed, 65 strength, 88 awareness, 45 agility, 48 acceleration, 48 break tackle, 95 throw power, and a 90 throw accuracy rating. For the Giants, he would go a grand total of 4-9 as the starter, and this would be his last year as the, member, as the starting quarterback for the New York Giants. He completed 56.8% of his passes for 300 or 3,110 yards, 13 TDs, 16 interceptions, averaged 239 yards per game, and had three game-winning drives. M2K4, he is 85 overall, 88 throw power, 76 throw accuracy, 84 for that pass read cover, 65 for that speed, 73 agility, 39 strength, and a 45 scramble rating. One of his best games was versus Washington. He was 24 of 39 for 276 yards, plus three TDs, and they got the win. Another good game was versus Miami. 23 of 39 was Kerry Collins for 375 yards, two TDs, one interceptions, and they did get that win. So we're going to move on to Madden 2005, and he is a member of the Raiders. Now, in this game, Gannon was 88 overall, and Kerry Collins was 87 overall. So you had a pretty good backup quarterback, obviously. But in Madden 05, like I said, he's 87 overall, 48 speed, 67 strength, 87 awareness, 50 agility, 60 acceleration, 48 break tackle, 96 throw power, and an 88 throw accuracy rating. Now, of course, Rich Gannon was a starting quarterback, but Rich Gannon will go down down with an injury that I believe ended his career. So when Kerry Collins stepped in, he went 3-10 and 10 as the starting quarterback, completed 56.3% of his passes for 3,495 yards, 21 uh, TDs, 20 interceptions, and he threw two, two, 249 yards per game. ESPN 2K5, 81 overall, 87 throw power, 70 throw accuracy, 79 for that pass recover, 65 speed, 73 agility, 39 strength, and a 46 for his scramble rating. One of his best games was in a win versus Tennessee. Kerry Collins was 21 of 37 for 371 yards, 5 TDs, and just 1 interception. Little bit of next gen back then on the 360. Madden 06, Kerry Collins comes in at 85 overall, 50 speed, 66 strength, 85 awareness, 51 agility, 54 acceleration, 48 break tackle, 96 throw power, and an 86 throw accuracy rating. He went 4 and 11 as a starting quarterback for those Raiders. He completed 53.5% uh, of his passes for 3,759 yards, 20 TDs, 12 interceptions, averaged 250 yards per game, one game winning drive. One of his best games was versus those Giants. They lost the game with Kerry Collins of 26 of 48, 331 yards, and three TDs. Another good game was versus the Philadelphia Eagles. They lost that game too, but he was 24 of 42, 345 yards, plus two TDs. Now he's a Titan. Madden 07, he's 83 overall, 47 strength, six, uh, 47 speed, excuse me, 66 strength, 49 agility, 52 acceleration, 81 awareness, 30 carry, 95 throw power, 86 throw accuracy. Now, when Kerry Collins finally got to play for the Titans, he went 0-3 as the starter. He completed just 46.7% of his passes, 549 passing yards, 1 TD, 6 interceptions, he averaged 137.3 yards per game. One of his best games was versus Miami. He went 19 of 13 with 269 yards, one TD. He also had a pretty good game versus the Jets. He had a grand total of 223 yards and two interceptions. Madden 08, he is 79 overall, 47 speed, 66 strength, 49 agility, 52 acceleration, 79 awareness, 30 carry, 92 throw power, 82 throw accuracy. He went 1-0 as a starting quarterback, completed 61% of his passes for 5,000, just kidding, 531 yards, 0 TDs, 0 interceptions, did average 88.5 yards per game, but he did have two game-winning drives, believe it or not. 
One of the best games was versus Houston. He went 25 of 42 for 280 yards, zero TDs, zero interceptions. Another one was versus Indianapolis, 10 of 13 for 106 yards. Madden 09, 79 overall, 47 speed, 66 strength, 49 agility, 52 acceleration, 79 awareness, 45 carry, 92 throw power, and 82 throw accuracy. Right, and he made it to the Pro Bowl, y'all. He went 12 and 3 as the starter, completed 58.3% of his passes for 2,676 yards. 12 TDs, 7 interceptions. I'm guessing this is one of the years that Tom Brady didn't feel like playing in the Pro Bowl and they had to let carry in, right? Right. Anyways, man, one of his best games versus Chicago. 30 of 41 throwing for 289 yards, 2 TDs, and they won the game. Versus Jacksonville, 13 of 23 passing for 230 yards, 3 TDs, 1 interception, and they also got that dub. Madden 10, 79 overall, 52 speed, 86 awareness, 91 throw power, 84 short accuracy, 75 medium accuracy, 78 deep accuracy, 35 throw on the run, and an 82 play action pass. He went 0-6 as the starter, completed just 55% of his passes for 1,225 yards, through 6 TDs, 8 interceptions, and averaged 175 yards per contest. One of his best games was versus Houston. He was 21 of 33 for 216 yards, 2 TDs, 1 interception, and a loss. Versus St. Louis, they would get the win, and Kerry Collins went 11 of 19 for 154 yards, 1 TD, and 0 interceptions. Man, 11 his last year as a Tennessee Titan. 72 overall, 52 speed, 79 awareness, 88 throw power, 80 short accuracy, 72 medium accuracy, 71 deep accuracy, 35 throw on the run, and a 77 play action pass. Now, his numbers look like this. He went 2-5 and five as a starter, completed 57.6% of his passes for 1,823 yards, 14 TDs, 8 interceptions, average 182.3 yards per contest, one game winning drive, and they lost to Indy, 28 of 39, 244 yards, 3 TDs, and 0 interceptions. And another game versus Indy. And another loss to Indy. He was 28 of 39, the exact same stat line for passing, but three, 300 yards, two TDs, and zero interceptions. And I guess because he balled versus Indy, they're like, Peyton Manning's not going to play this year. Come on down. And he basically helped them tank to get Andrew Luck, even though I don't believe NFL teams tank. That's just my, that's just my opinion, though. That's just my opinion. He went 0-3 for those Colts. He completed a grand total of 49% of his passing for 481 yards. Two TDs, one interceptions, 160 yards per game. And they lost to Houston. He was 16 of 31, 197 yards plus a TD. And they lost to Cleveland. He was 19 of 38 for 191 yards, one TD, and one interception. And when it comes to his overall for his career as a Madden character, or for a video game character, I should say, in the games that I have, he is 83 overall. And I'm guessing that... Madden 98 helped him with that 161 overall rating. <laughs> I'm going to just go out on a limb and say that. But that is going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hasa! Check it, uh. Every day we're getting it. Hey, hey, check it, uh, uh. Put the place up. Yeah, we know what we made of. Can't get enough of you, boo. I'm a chaser. Face up.